Hello, in this tutorial, we will create a goal point effect used in various games using a material. First, place a cube mesh or a cylinder mesh in the level. You can drag and place meshes from the place actor window on the right and set their size and position in the details panel. Once placed, create a material in the content drawer. Let's start by creating the side face part. To create stripes, generate a generated band node. Create two constant nodes by clicking while pressing the keyboard key 1, and set their values to configure the width and sharpness of the band. Next, create a text chord node. Increasing the V-tiling value of the text chord node and connecting it to the generated band node, you can see the number of stripes increase. Then to move the stripes, create a panner node, connect it between the text chord node pins, and set the speed I value to make the stripes move upwards. Next, create a vertex normal node. Create a component mask node, check only the B value, and connect it to the vertex normal node you will see that the Z part, or the top part, of the material is masked. Then connect an abs, absolute, node to make the top and bottom parts white. Connect a 1 minus node to invert the masked part, making the side face white. Now, using a lerp node, Connect the nodes as shown in the video, and you will see stripes appearing only on the side face. Next, let's create the opacity area. Create a bounding box based node and a dot product node to calculate the inner product. Then, create a constant 3 vector node by clicking while pressing the keyboard key 3 and set the blue color value to 1 to configure the Z direction. Connect the nodes to the dot product node to calculate the inner product of the bounding box. If you preview the dot product node, you can see the gradient generated from top to bottom. Use a 1 minus node to invert the top and bottom. Next, use a subtract node to shorten the gradient. Use an add node to combine the previously created stripes and create the emissive color area. Create an add node. Next, copy the connected subtract node and reset its value. Connect a saturate node to fix the value and connect it to opacity. Currently, the opacity of the material is not activated. Change the blend mode to translucent to activate opacity. Next, check two-sided to make the inside visible. Now, let's create the bottom part. Create a diamond gradient node and a parameter node. Set the values and connect it to the diamond gradient node. Create a parameter node by clicking while pressing the keyboard key S use a 1 minus node to make the diamond shape visible. Adjust the contrast of the gradient using a power node. Connect a saturate node to fix the value between 0 and 1. Connect a multiply node to the component mask node from the previous masking node. Set the value of the multiply node to minus 1 to mask only the bottom part of the material. Create a multiply node. Use a lerp node to make only the bottom part show the diamond gradient. Next, create a cheap contrast node and a parameter node, and connect them as shown in the video to simplify the diamond gradient. Use an add node to combine it with the previously created stripes.
Now, create a constant 3 vector node and a parameter node to set the color. Set the values in the parameter node to configure the brightness of the color. Lastly, use a multiply node to set the color for the material as shown in the video. Now, apply the created material to the cube and cylinder mesh placed in the level. Thank you.